have here a Mercedes A-Class uh, W168. Uh, it's an automatic and um, the owner is complaining about sometimes when he leaves the car in the sun. Uh, an F shows over there where it was supposed to be the drive or the the R or the N or the park um, and the car goes into safe mode it lost all power the only gear it works more or less properly it's the uh, rear it's for the rear uh, or the reverse gear so I'm suspecting this is the culprit the gear selector here uh, what happens is when the the solder points they they get hot in the sun the metal expands and they lose contact so on this video here we are going to be removing that the the gear selector which we we need to remove the both seats the center console uh, just to or at least one seat maybe not both but you know we'll see um, we are removing that reflowing every single solder point on the on the the select there and refitting it then we have to go and test it leave it in the sun it's uh, today for example in my country let me just see in the shade in the shade is 36 degrees Celsius which is a lot uh, so when we leave it in the sun it will get hot real quick and real fast and then we can uh, test them uh, when the car is cold uh, in the evening or even in the shade uh, we cannot replicate the problem so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to examine all that and reflowing of course but uh, I'm going to re examine all this with the, the microscope, the digital microscope. Hopefully we can see a cracked solder point. Uh, even if we can find one, I'm going to reflow all of them. So yeah guys, uh, stay tuned, we'll be okay, right so back. I've started removing things. So this part goes right there, it just clips on, as you can see the clips there, it just has, you just have to pull it up and backwards and it pops right up. Here um, I took this rubbery part and you can find a screw there and one here and one here. This part you just twist it counterclockwise like this and pull it up as you can see here oh, there's that this part stays on the bottom the handbrake handle you just have to fix like this and then you have a pin through it and the pin goes there you just have to push it from one side, it pops right out. Uh, so yeah, now I'm going to remove these two bolts here, this one and that one, and this one. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so the bolt is removed, you just pull, push the, pull the cup holder, as you can see here. Okay, now you have to remove the... Um, Fence here. So for this, I'm going to put the seat to the front position. And just okay, like this. Let me just pop that out. There's a little tab here. Just push it in and out at the same time. And things pop right out. I'm going to the same on this side. But for this, I need to push it front. Okay, so it's difficult to do it with a, with one hand, but no worries. We'll get it done anyway. 
So just grind this down, push it up at the same time. And this one also. Right. I'm just going to pause this because I cannot get that with one hand filming. So but I'll now, show you how it goes. Uh, I took it. It was uh, really simple with two hands uh, because uh, because this is loose already. As soon with one hand, when I was prying the the tab, this tab here, this one, I was pushing all the center console with it. So I I was literally doing nothing. That's why I needed two hands: one to hold the, the thing in place, and the other the other hand to push it. Uh, now we need to remove the ashtray as soon as we remove the bolts there it's like this and now uh, I'm going to disconnect the the plug there again I cannot do this with one hand um, and then we have to put this up and disconnect the these buttons here there's a plug underneath so yeah I think uh, so I disconnected we'll the ashtray. Yeah. Uh, it slides to the side. It, you won't pull this out. It has to slide to the side. Uh, you have to remove this because the wire goes through this plastic here, so you won't be able to lift it up. Now, just lift it up like this, and you put your hand underneath and pull this plug. It just you know two tabs one on each side and pull it out it's not the easiest um, space to put your hand in but you'll get it now you have to put the the handbrake as high as you can so that you can pull this part right off like this you lift the front and then you start you just lift you lift the front there and you just you just start to push it forward it will clear the handbrake here now next thing we have to remove this this part here uh, the thing is sometimes the best the best way is to remove the seats at least one of them um, there are some cars like these that um, have a a removable uh, passenger seat this is not the one that's not the case here anyway I'm going to try to do it with the seats on and um, I'll show you guys how this all this fits together so and, uh, we'll it's go easy there. there's no bolts or anything you just has to you just have to pull it back uh, at this point I guess the end brake should be on the downwards position like this so that you can clear the end brake uh, let me just uh, remind you that this is an automatic car if you are uh, not in a level place uh, please put something some blocks or something um, in front and on the back of the wheels so that the car won't move because we are out of gear now well actually we are still in reverse but anyway we are going to put this this in neutral um, and now we have the handbrake out, so you don't want uh, the car to go away. So you just need to push it like this. Be careful so you don't catch any wires in the process. Um, but yeah, I have to clear a plastic down here and a plastic down here, which is um, impossible to do with, uh, with uh, one hand. Uh, but it, it is very, uh, very simple guys as soon as you see this loose you will know exactly so this is where we are so far um, you have to be careful removing the, the plastic that goes around here so you don't caught, you don't catch any um, uh, wiring as you can see here there's a, a lot of wiring there a lot of wiring the, here so now we have to remove that clip that metal clip over there and after that uh, we have three 10 millimeter bolts one there and two in the back here one here and one there hidden there so let's go ahead and do it so the hardest part so far was to remove this um, clip which goes right there 
what you need to do is to try and make uh, to lift it just a little bit until you create a gap um, underneath here as soon as you create a gap underneath you put a flat head screwdriver and just pry it out up and it pops right up uh, now uh, after that uh, you need to remove this plug which is this plug here which is attached to the lighter the cable here the plug uh, there will be a cable tie here you need to cut that so you can free this you remove the three uh, 10 millimeter bolts now you're going to turn it and there is a plastic clip here that we need to remove in order to remove this uh, cable uh, don't lose the clip it's important um, so yeah I'm going to show you right right after I I do this I'm going to show you as you can see here uh, I just popped uh, I put a knife underneath and popped it right up it's uh, really easy to remove don't lose this part this is an um, important part uh, to keep that in place now we just can let me just save this to the side there and now we can just pull it up and there we go as you can see this is the gear selector on a A-Class Mercedes W168 so on the next video I'll be um, so this video actually is um, helpful if you want to replace this but it's also helpful if you want to repair this and now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make this next video uh, repairing uh, this unit not I'm not going to put a new one in I'm just going to repair this one so yeah stay tuned